when you're at the top one of those cypress trees, you can see almost two miles. You can signal with your hand or what have you to those gangs who may have stepped away to have a little secret meeting. An overseer's on a horse, but he's on the other side of the plantation. That might give seven or eight people an opportunity. Let's run over here and talk about something we need to discuss. The person at the top of that cypress tree, though, is able then to signal when he sees that overseer on that horse coming in their direction. That position would be very helpful in assisting them to plan in a secret way. The rebels had three real objectives. The first one, to end chattel slavery. The second one, to establish their own independent republic. And the third one is to establish their own economy. The immediate objective is to bring an end to their bondage. And they came to the conclusion, we have to establish our own republic, which means we have to establish our own state. But that's still not enough. You have to have state power to determine what kind of economy you're going to live under. People will learn from their actions and learn that to get complete emancipation, the struggle to establish your own state and economy has to continue. Oil companies settled along the riverbanks on the ground of former sugar plantations beginning in the early 1900s. Therefore, the history of this company suggests the links between plantation agriculture and current industry, or what's called from the plantation to the plant.